uh, what happened was that I started feeling real bad after initial visit with my primary care physician. And they did some tests and found out that I had cirrhosis of the liver, possibly cancer in the gallbladder, and maybe even in the liver itself in the drainage ducts. My name is Winston R. Hewitt. I'm a liver transplant surgeon here at Emory University Hospital. They were telling me that my liver was in bad shape and they didn't know, you know how long it was going to continue to function. Patients with end-stage liver disease really have a significant impact on not only their quantity of life, but the quality of life. And these patients have undergone a significant decline in their strength and their ability to perform their activities of daily living. They decided to, to put me on the transplant list. I got on the list, they ran some more tests, and they found out that, yeah, I better get one in a hurry. And um, it came, became available. They called us here at the house on the 25th of August about 11.32 in the morning, and we got down there about uh, 12.20. Cholangiocarcinoma is uh, cancer of the bile ducts. Uh, it's an extremely aggressive tumor uh, with an unfortunately poor outcome. Classically, cholangiocarcinoma or bile duct cancer has been treated with resection, removing the bile ducts, but unfortunately, a lot of the time that's just not possible because the other structures around are important and cannot be removed and these patients ultimately succumb to their disease relatively quickly. Here at the Emory Transplant Center, we've adopted a novel protocol to treat cholangiocarcinoma. The introduction of liver transplantation for cholangiocarcinoma was attempted initially and was relatively unsuccessful. But the addition of chemo and radiation therapy prior to the resection improves the likelihood that there is no tumor left behind that the radiation and the chemotherapy has completely treated the bed where the tumor was. I had no idea they could transplant a liver. I thought I was doomed when they told me that the, the liver was just about shot. Given the fact that cholangiocarcinoma is such a rare disease, typically patients who are diagnosed with it come to a large urban institution. Emory University has the only liver transplantation for cholangiocarcinoma treatment therapy in Georgia. If I had uh, advise somebody where to go for an operation or to be checked out, it'd be Emory because I, they have an answer or a possible answer for everything that I could think of. It's tremendously rewarding to treat a disease which had been basically given a death sentence and, and little, little option, little, little chance of cure to one where optimism and hope truly can be shared with the patient.